Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm here with the Frost Rune by Grimner Studios. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get through the game. Uh, if you need extra help, you can go to my website and I have a full step-by-step uh, -step walkthrough. Uh, anyway, here we go. Okay, so first off, let's head up here. I'm gonna go left up this path and grab this knife here. Back. And over here, use the knife to cut this ladder, and now you can get the pliers. Go back and zoom in on this opening here. If you notice there's a loose plank so use the pliers to remove it. Now you can go inside and tap on it. Þú segir mig, þú hefur gjúfinn, ef þú segir í genum sóka, svarðu þú hjálpa. Skundir segir nú að heljar vegar einsvori menn, fjóðin of stark, úrúa tími yfir oss. Heljar pördar má nú opnast. Hindrar bröstit, heimur må nu falla, sol må nu folva. Grimre är jåthon redig, ulvar river i nån. Ver var om att hindra dig, ver var om att stänga port. Fara till hos mins, ek visar sig, sår. Sjå i heilag og vatni. Jeg stender med seg. Ok, så pay attention to those three faces that just highlighted for you. We're gonna use those soon again. I have a photo on my website if you didn't catch it. You can also talk to her again if you need it. But for now, pick up that key over there. And now go back and tap on this bigger hut or house, whatever you want to call it. Uh, insert the key and now you need to match it. You need to turn each key to match the three faces you saw. So it goes like this. Go inside, pick up the pulley, the flint and steel, and then look at this mural here, or embroidery. We're going to need it later, so either take a screenshot or you could use my site. Um, let's go back around here where you got the pliers and add the pulley to the rope. 
Now you can open the door. Let's head up the path. Alright, first off, read this down here. This writing tablet. Continue on, Oops. continue on past this waterfall and pick up the clay and go right and pick up this fishing rod here. Let's go back. Right here you want to turn left up this path, continue, and look down here, you're going to use the fishing rod to get that key. Alright, let's go back to the village, we're going to use that key. on the smaller house here. Inside. Grab the pickaxe. And also, we're going to use the flint and steel to light the coals. We still need the other half of the mold and some metal. So we'll come back to that later. Uh, let's go back to the gate. continue up the path. So you can see there's a broken tool here. So we're going to use our new pickaxe to make an opening. Go through. Head right over here and pick up this amulet. Okay, let's go back. And now there's this path to the right we haven't taken yet. So go there. And keep going. Now when you see these sticks, there go through the trees, the path through the trees and pick up this loom weight. And also there's a clue, there's an engraving here. I took a screenshot of it to keep it for later. Uh, cause we're not using it just yet, but you can go back now. Let's go up to this house. All right, put the amulet up by the others. And now you should be able to see a key on the floor here. Pick it up and use it to open the door on the outside. Okay, there's a few things to do here. First, pick up the sky and go to the loom weight, the loom, and add the loom weight to it. We're still missing two, so we'll come back to that later. And take a look here. There's a poem that says, Runes have I carved in this vessel, runes to see, runes to find. Use water with the sacred, use water with the sacred yarrow plant, and a vision will show the way. So we need water and a yarrow plant. Oh, so also make sure to pick up this empty cup here. Let's go back down to the waterfall. And fill up the cup. Now it should be a full cup of water. And Go back to the yarrow root, to the burnt down house over here, and that's a yarrow plant. So, use the scythe to cut the flower. Now, let's go back to that house. Okay, so place 
the narrow plant and the water. And now look what happens. So it shows a scene and there's a little glowing area. You can tap on it if you need it again. That glowing spot is the important part. So let's go find that area. It's just a little further back. Right here. So this is the scene in the water. Uh, you want to tap this rock over here to move it. And then go inside and grab the staff. So come. Ik visste zo man die wegen finna. Zet de otti op geras. Ik ken die niet. Ronar er her og øy. Av reken varian. En sår er her to en. Varas. Frost i nog. Zwa je virk jovin. Kan de zes zag hjelp as ik o. Hjelp as ik sjo. Svår huliv. Aldri heimer. Nyt gander min. Så måtte du sjå som jeg ser. Ber han om med sitt. Så måtte du hjelpe oss. Sår er en gang annen. Ganga nå. Sjå etter heil og bom dyr. Fylg fara seira. Okay, so now you have the staff and the game really opens up because what it does is, I'm calling it spirit vision, it lets you see ghosts. So you want to tap on this little triangular rune in the corner. Oops. That's not it. And now you can see, look there's a spirit over there that just disappeared. Um, so continue up the path and now... There's this warrior here. He has a sword and a shield and a pink banner. So pink wisp of smoke. So remember that, or again, I made note of it on my site, so if you need to, uh, you can re refer to that. Let's go find the other warriors. There's another... Oops. Um, back here. So this guy has a green banner and a long axe. Now let's go back. Up the path. Past the... this burnt down house. Now you can see the frame, the ghost of the house. Continue on. And now you have a guy with a spear. And he has a blue banner. And then last, we're going to go all the way back to the village. And this guy with a small axe has an orange banner. So, we have all four warriors. Oops. Go back up this path here the temple or shrine and now so you need to change the colors to the right ones so the left one is already set to orange the guy with the short axe so that's fine the next one is blue with the sword with the uh, with the spear rather the axe the short axe is green and then the sword is pink
Okay, go through. And now, tap on the table. Alter. Who have it learned? Knowing that moles, guns. Fetta er altaris alvadir odens. Så man lära löjndar måls vår ein efter ein. Hall dem löjn fungit väl och klokliga varas is. Vägg er fenna er vägg tecken för er fer. Dyren må nå hjälpa om tidom. Lär nå väl och nyt klokligar och vis oss gott var val vart. Okay, so it's Odin's altar. You're gonna pick up the silver cup and go back a little bit and use your spirit vision. So now you can see there's this horse that came to life on the mural. Let's go back and go back to the waterfall. There's a spirit here. Uruat lam, uruat imi, egi margir sinar virving. Gjavar veir nota at gjeva silver, fyrir landet sér. Okay, so he wants silver. You can't use uh, items while you're in the, while you're using the spirit vision. So shut it off and give him the silver cup. Okay, so now he made a passage for you behind the waterfall. You can go up there. And if you look carefully, there's a shovel. So take the shovel, and you could also continue on back here, but there's nothing to do right now. So we'll come back to that. It's a nice view, though. So go back. Take the right path this time, and come over here to this rune stone. You're going to use your vision, spirit vision. Now, the mural from inside the house is the clue for this. Again, uh, either remember it from before or go back and check. I have a picture on my site that I'm going to refer to. So, just change it, tap them to match the order. So it goes like this, the little, little uh, banner, Carry, or it's torch bearer. Torch bearers in the front. Then the small axe. Then the spear is already like that. Then the big axe. And now the sword and shield. So the horse comes to life. And if you want to see, now it shows you, it's more clear. If you take off the spirit vision, it's even clearer. If you're not, if you weren't 100% sure. Alright, let's go back and now you can see some horseshoe prints. And you want to follow them. So they're leading in here. And there's the horse. So there's something buried. So take off spirit vision and use the shovel here. Pick up the saw and there's this puzzle box. So it's kind of like Simon says, uh, or the game, just Simon. You have to use spirit vision, which will show you a pattern, and then you have to shut this. Uh, Spirit vision and follow the pattern. So I'll show you. Okay, 
Okay, so it does seem to be the same every game. So you can use my site, I numbered them, if you get stuck. And now turn it on again and it should give you another one. I didn't do it right. Okay. One, two, Take the horse totem. Let's go back. So we're gonna go back to this screen here and use the saw to cut the dam. Now If you come back to this screen, the water should have flowed in here and you can get another loom weight. Alright, go back to the temple or shrine. Place the totem, the horse totem, in the slot. Now, if you look at the mural, there are two ravens. So come back here. Here and now go past. I'll shut off the spirit vision so you can see better. I'm gonna go up towards this tree in the back and now use the spirit vision over here. So you're gonna have a few uh, riddles to solve. So this is the first one. <laughs> Okay, so the chariot is drawn by two horned beasts. That's the goat. And he skull he crushes Jotun's skulls with mighty weapon. That's the hammer. Okay, so the winged spies are the ravens, and the battle weapon that flies above every battlefield would be a javelin. Stand there, oh, be flustered, 
Okay, so the end of the Bifrost is the rainbow, and the Jalorhorn, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, would be this horn over here. And this is the last one, so the Tusk Beast is the boar, and the hunters are cats. Okay, so now there's feathers falling, and if you follow them... They lead you over here. This path. Moon need it stain the veil and name on wood wall. Heal tunes. Scalp when I heal veil veil. Okay, so Jotun's arrow, we need to find that. Let's go back. It's actually over here. This is Jotun's arrow. If you turn this off, it looks like an arrow pointing. This big triangular rock. So turn it on, and you can see this little glowing area. And let me show you though. So this is you need a clue for this and it's from over here. Let me show go quickly back to show you. So between these trees it's this carving, the little dots by the ravens. That's the clue. Again, I have it on my website if you need help. But let's go back. Okay, so also pick up this bronze. And now, so you're going to match it to that uh, engraving. So it goes, oops. to see the raven's lore. So it says, the northern raven watches the house, the southern raven fights the foe, the western raven protects the girl, the eastern raven with the warrior flies. Uh, so either remember it or go to my site, but here we go. Uh, I'm going to show you what to use that for. So let's go back. Come up here. He seems to want to talk to us again. Oh, okay, so he's just giving us a hint as to where the Alright, so if you come over here, you see there's this little glowing spot on the water. So tap on it. You need to you'd be using your spirit vision for this. And I'm going to turn up. Uh, look at this box. This is the raven chest. And so the poem was the northern raven watches the house so just tap on it till you find the house 
The southern raven fights the foe. That's this one. The western raven protects the girl. And the eastern raven with the warrior flies. And there you go. Raven totem will float to the beach. So go back up. And now pick up the raven totem. Okay, uh, let's go back to the temple. Sorry about any noise outside. Okay, add the raven totem to the to the altar. Now look back, and now there's a wolf. So we're gonna need to follow this wolf. First, go back. And here's another rune stone. If you look at it, there's some uh, drawings or symbols at the top, and then there's others on the bottom half. Uh, we need something, if you tap on it, it says, I wish I had a guide. So if you come back here, back to the burnt house, on the floor there's a little compass. So if you use the spirit vision you can see uh, there's a symbol in the middle that was similar to the ones at the top, and then there's one on the outside uh, that was on the bottom half. Now if you turn it, you'll see another one. Keep just There's four of them, so either take screenshots, memorize them, or use my site. Um, but now we have all four, so you're going to go back. And on the stone, you can see that there's only three on the top. We have four, but one of them isn't on there. So that's the archer. We don't need the archer. What we do need are the wolf, what looks like a werewolf, and uh, the other one might be a wolf too. But uh, the matching symbols on the bottom goes like this. That one, that one, and a snake. And now the wolf comes to life. Okay, if you go back, you can see some paw prints and follow them. Up here, into the ice. So look what happens. Okay, so he said, fix what is broken to break what is frozen. So what he's referring to, uh, take off your spirit vision and pick up the broken amulet. You need to fix that. So what you're going to do is come back this way. Over here to this path to the right and here's a broken amulet so add the other piece to it and the frost will melt so now you can get the amulet and the last loom weight so come back Add the amulet to the branch. 
Rúnir er reist og fjólkinga meni. Gerðist vel. Það er góðir galdir. Okay, so continue through and take off the spirit vision. There's a key here, but if you try to take it, it says it's stuck in the ice. So you're going to use your clay to make a mold. Now you have a mold. So we're going to go back. And make a key. Come in here, and two things. You're gonna place the mold, casting mold down, and you're gonna add the bronze to this cup, so it'll melt down automatically, and make a key. Take the key, and let's go back all the way, and use the key here. To open this chest. Now read the poem. It tells you uh, about four warriors, and it says they're uh, guarding the great wolf's chest. So it says, Pink sings the swordsman, the highest note. Shorter axe sings deepest note in orange. His brother with spear joins his blue note, and the long axe sings in green muse. Again, I have it on my site if you need it, uh, but. What we're going to do now is go find the four warriors. So the first, um, the sword, the swordsman is back by the wolf. If you go through here, there, if you tap to the right side, you can see, you can go through here. So here's a warrior with a sword. Who's singing, and you want to change him to pink. So now he's set right. We're gonna come back here though. Let's go find. Sorry about the noise outside. Uh, we're gonna go find the next one, the guy, the warrior with the short axe. He's up here past the waterfall. And he's orange according to the poem. The next one is over here. And he's blue, this guy with the spear. And the last one is the short axe. And he is all the way back. Over here. So he's green. The short axe is green. Or long axe. Whoops, that's the, that's the long axe. The other guy is the short axe. Uh, yeah, long axe is green. Alright, let's go back. Over to the wolf. And we'll be able to get his chest. Okay, so turn off your spirit vision and look at the chest. Now, uh, you see these four wolves. They're in different positions. If you turn on the spirit vision, you now have spirit versions of them. And you can, if you tap one, it causes some of them to turn. So, uh, this is how you want to do it. This one on the right turns two of them. This one on the bottom turns three. So we're going to focus on the three first and set up this dog. You can look at it again. So that one now, the bottom one matches. Now focus on the right one 
again, if you need to see it, you can turn it off. That should be right. And now you can just focus on this guy. Oh, whoops, I forgot that, that that one. Okay, so first focus on the top one. I forgot about that. Now this one. Now this. And last. And there you go. And if you turn off spirit vision, you can take the wolf totem. Let's go back and add it to the others. Dyr er samlaga, verksins er og snarliga gerdvitt. Takk imot at er vårt svå lenge. Megen ro min svå er binder. Finn og fjond din okkar. Frost din fyller honom. År kaldri og sak og dri. Helio! Nyt eldigamla Ronin. Hon hever moff över honom. Bind honom och bind is till steines. Okej, så let's get the binding staff. Manna Ronin sidder mader. Hon ständer fyrer fjanden som möter. Nåde Ronin, sidder nåde. Hon stender fyrer pisel, som hon valde. Samman minda där binda Ronin. Kasta han av fyrer att binda nider fjandin om sin om och kalla fast dem. Okay, so grab the binding staff, and now we're gonna go back to a little area we haven't seen yet. It's back where the wolf was. So go up this path here, and look at this. There's a big stone. Now, if you insert the staff, look what happens. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty damn cool. Um, he's, he's a pretty cool guy. Um, fun to watch. Control. But he's now bound to that rock. If you turn off the, fr the, the spirit vision now, you can pick up the health staff. Oh. Hagalar Ronin Fridir Hagal Honstender Fridir Helgar Lanz Nannar Ronin Fridir Mauder En kasta han har slik Er hon vaud man Er reistist Saman mynda der hel Ronin Kasta han har fyrir at reisa daudir 
og tala með. Ok, so now you have it. You have health staff. Let's go back. And you may have noticed there was a circle of stones with a guy sleeping. A few, or spirit resting. If you look here. So turn it off. And use the health staff. Amen. <laughs> Okay, so what you should have noticed while he was talking is that a pattern appears on his shirt. You need to copy that pattern onto the loom. So go back into the woman's house, to the loom. And again, I have a screenshot on my site if you need more help. Uh, add the two loom weights. And now, if you turn on spirit vision, look what happens. So what you need to do is copy the pattern from his shirt, but you need to start from the bottom up. So just tap, there's uh, little boxes on the right and left, so just tap the right ones that you need in order to copy the pattern. So it goes like this. mess up um hold on yes I did mess up what did I do uh wait how did that happen oh okay so press the X. That's weird. Um, Alright, so it goes like this. Runin fyrir haggal Hon stender fyrir allt Dat er kallt i sessar heimar Jara runin fyrir år Hon stender fyrir dat Og kemur aftur Saman mynda deir Frost runin Kasta hana fyrir att hava mått yfir kalda len. Okej, okay, så so we're almost done. We'll come back to this guy. Right there. Give him a sword. Uh, oh, I guess we just need to talk to him. Oops. Burnin, 
hever sponet fråd sin. Ragnader allskir, fyrer all om sen ser. Liver nandit, hever der og fødingar timi. Liv er datt som du kommer med, og frigjør til eier dessa. Takk moruna desi, fra stronin er hun nevnt. Reist og svært hjalti, tøvring, nevne ikk svært ditt. Møt fjern din vepna, han er av måtugur jorte natt. Rimdur sær, frost lik i år djups nifla heimi. Kalda runa, i vil heit bann og frost barar innom. Send honom opp til nider, hel er heim. Okay, we're almost done. Pick up this frost rune blade and we're gonna use it on the frost giant. Ser hei min reisast apter, reisast aur hav. Ek ser heim apter grønan, ek ser mykil hold. Fegri en sol, gullin sak, en skimle. Sar mono rauster menn liva, syner livs, fegin samliga allra daga. Fljogande i genom dal Ja, ormer skin Se man kömer och fjoll om Sätta är så långt som jag ser Lätt mer nu apter Nider grov min sökva Er steinin flyrs, saga finns er ännu hejlig, hejlig.
And that's the end of the Frost Rune. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye-bye.